sunny downtown Missouri, as Brother John would say. He is out uh, due to work this week, weekend rather, with uh, the job that he has in conservation. Hello. There we go. All right. Well, again, friends, thank you for uh, joining us in worship today. Hope you brought your hearts uh, ready to give God the glory. And uh, we're going to start by singing His praises and doing a responsive reading. So if you all please stand in honor of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. We have a responsive reading, <clears throat> excuse me, that is on page 862. It is number 31. 862, there we go. It is entitled Thankfulness. And if you'll take note, it does have uh, uh, women and men, men parts, so if you'd please uh, just take note of that. <clears throat> Thankfulness. <clears throat> I will give you thanks in the great assembly. Among throngs of people, I will praise you. I will thank the Lord for his righteousness. I will sing about the name of the Lord from both sides. Here we go, men. The Lord will not strengthen me, but I shall My heart trusts in Him, and I am helped. My heart leaps for joy, and I will give thanks to Him in song. Ladies. I will praise God's name with a song, and His awesome name with a Let them give thanks to the Lord for His faithful love and His wonderful works for the human race. Give thanks in everything, for this is God's will for you, Christ Jesus. Give thanks to the God of gods. And whatever you do in word or in deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through Him. Thanks be to God for His indescribable gift. Amen. All right, dear friends, let's turn to uh, hymn number 98. 98. That is, Come Thou Fount of Every Blessing. There is only three. Verses to sing. There is a key change between two and three. <clears throat> All right, there. Keep up the singing with hymn number 364. Excuse me. 364, send the light. There are only uh, three verses, so we're going to do verses 1, 2, and 3, if I can get there. All right. <laughs> Send the 
brothers and sisters. You may be seated. Isn't it good to be in the house of the Lord this morning? Amen. It's a beautiful day outside and inside too, and I'm so happy each and every one of you is here today. Let's have a word of prayer together. Join me, please. Father, we come to you in the name of Jesus, blessing you and praising you, Father, for your goodness, your loving kindness toward us, Father, for all the blessings that you have sent our way. And we love you, Father, because you first loved us. We give you praise and honor today, Father, for what you're going to do in this house today. I pray that if there's anyone here who is looking for that transformation, that change in their life, that this would be the day that they come to the cross and accept your son. Be with us now, Lord, as we continue in song. In Jesus' name we pray it. Amen. Amen. Thank you. All right, well, friends, it's our time of uh, testimony. If any of you have anything you'd like to share that's happened this past week or how God has been moving in your life that you've noticed? Yes. Jackie. Well, yesterday, I went to the ministry. We had four families that came in. So God was working and moving, so we're getting more. Amen. 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 Amen indeed. Yeah, thank you, Jack. Yeah, Dylan. Uh, earlier this week, uh, our CERT team with the department, we had to move 1,200 inmates from one prison to another. I couldn't really mention that out loud to everybody because it's got to stay on the down low. But we were able to do that 1,200 inmate move without any incident. Yes. Yes. Right. Good deal. Good deal. Anyone else? Yes, Chris. Well, I just want to say thank you for the entry. Ministry because the one I was only here one day part for for a while when they were doing it and I was so impressed by by the message they were giving to the people that were in the car that had driven up right before I came and they and I mean they were spot on they weren't just giving out food they were giving out uh, Jesus to these people. Amen. Well, to follow up with that, one of my favorite sayings of Christianity is, Christianity is one beggar showing another beggar where to find bread. So, amen. Thank you all for doing that. Yes, Melissa. My sister and I were kind of shoeboxes yesterday. And I did this big tub of things that I've been collecting for a while. We got an ounce for out like we were this year. And it was so much as we were trying to figure out how many boxes we were going to make, what we had. God kept showing this one number every time. And you could just feel his, his love and his work together and we thought it was really cool as we were working through that. He's right there with us that director. Amen. It's good news. Thank you, Melissa. Anyone else? Sarah? So yeah, as you guys have known, my housemate named Jennifer Friday uh, night. She her going Friday, Thursday evening, I found out her daughter Faith was being induced. Finland was born going into Friday, uh, I'm not sure to say, but before that, we found out Finley had fluid around the heart. And it dawned on me that I needed to be able to pray with Jennifer. So before she left Friday morning, I sat down with her and I prayed with her. Uh, before she left and I left that morning, and Faith was in labor all morning, all day long. And Finley is okay and healthy. Same thing with uh, Faith. That's good deal. That's good news. Prayer works, right, Sarah? All right. Charlotte? Oh, not only is the front pew full of boxes, my heart's full. Thank you all for having me. There were two low issue boxes up there this morning and now it's full. And there are children who are going to be touched by those boxes. Families that are going to be touched by those boxes. <laughs> Communities that are going to be touched by those boxes. Churches will be started because of those boxes. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Anyone else? All right, well, um, instead of our resting hymn, the choir is going to do a special for you in honor of uh, Veterans Day. It is entitled Wounded Soldier. So please divert your eyes to the choir loft, and we hope that you receive a blessing from this.
small tank. I don't know. And I don't know which one's which. Sorry. <clears throat> Sorry. <laughs> I can't tell which one's which. Can this you? It's three, the one you have in your hand. That's hilarious.
just left me a tripwire here. <laughs> that's, that's pranking your preacher when he walks around, you know what? 